One of the most highly criticized things about the Google Pixel Fold is easily going to be the battery life and the charging. In this video, I'm going to do my best to, as accurately and as detailed as I can, I'm going to attempt to describe to you what I'm experiencing with my Google Pixel Fold and therefore what hopefully you can expect to experience with your own. And I've also got some raw data, some polling results from uh, looks like about 308 people. So let me start off by giving you sort of what my day today looks like and what I'm experiencing with my device. It'd be easy for me just to tell you that I get somewhere between four to six hours of screen time if I go from morning to night all day without charging the thing. But there's a lot of variables there, right? So we can talk about your cell service and how big of an impact that can make. We can talk about what you're doing with the device, you know, shut off in your pocket. Are you listening to music and podcasts all day? All these things are going to affect things. So screen on time, it's probably the best metric that we have, but it's not super accurate. So again, I'm going to give you sort of a full picture of the day. Typically about 6 a.m. I wake up, I roll over, I grab my Pixel Fold off of the Pixel charging stand. It is the Gen 1 stand is what I use in my bedroom. I grab it off of that and I probably start reading through the news. I go to Feedly and start reading through the news, so forth and so on. So by about 7.30 or 8 a.m., I'm probably right here in this chair and I am probably doing something. I'm either working on a video, I'm doing research, I'm doing something like that. And a lot of the time when I'm sitting in this chair, my Pixel Fold is sitting in the Google Pixel Stand Gen 2. Now this stand does have a pretty big advantage over the first stand, that is that it has a fan built into it. This thing does not charge super duper quickly because it gets a little bit too warm and I think that the charging throttles a little bit in particular with a wireless charger doesn't seem to really love that a lot. So having that fan in there seems to alleviate that. It seems to charge faster in the Gen 2 stand than in the Gen 1 stand. So typically, I'm probably sitting about half an hour of screen on time by the time it's here and it's sitting back on a charger again. And right now it is 10.56 a.m. I'll give you an idea of kind of what we're talking about. It's 10.56 a.m. I've done pretty much exactly what I've described. I've made a video. I've mowed the yard. I've ran a couple of errands and I've you know sat here with it in this charging stand a fair amount. I'm sitting at 91% battery and I have two hours and 20 minutes of screen on time. That is a lot of time for the screen to be on. But again, I'm at 91% because... As I've said here, I've dropped it back on the stand off and on all day, so my battery is pretty much at a full charge still. And that's sort of what my day will look like. I'll be coming and going to be off and on these stands throughout the course of the day. And by the time I'm going to bed, about 9, 9.30 or so, I may have six plus hours of screen on time. And typically, I'm at about 40% battery by that point because about two, three o'clock, once my wife is home from work, I kind of migrate out of this room and away from the charging stands. And at that point, it's just in my pocket and it's draining more naturally. Again, normally hit about 40% before I'm going to bed. So for me, the battery just isn't an issue because the charging stand is here. Now, if I go back to when I was using the device for the review and I was trying to kind of calculate that battery life, and I was purposefully not charging and not putting on a charging stand, yeah, four to six hours of screen on time, normally off the charger at 6 a.m., going to bed at 9.30, and I was probably on fumes. I was probably sitting, you know, 10, 15% battery. Six hours of screen on time was probably like towards the high end of what I was experiencing. Now, I will say that my carrier, Mint Mobile, who, by the way, I'm partnered with, and if you want to save some money on your cell phone bill, check out that link in the description below to do just that. Mint allows you to disable 5G, and for me, that makes perfect sense because I'm never doing anything that I need truly 5G speeds. LTE is more than fast enough. And by disabling that 5G connection, I haven't you know, calculated this in an objective way, but I would guesstimate 10, 15% better battery life. Like it's been a significant, significant improvement in the overall longevity of the battery of this device. Another improvement that I've made is to disable the adaptive charging. I've gone over this in a tips and tricks video, but basically go into your settings, battery adaptive charging, and you disable that, do a reboot, and you should be charging faster now than you were before as well. Granted, the charging is still not great. It's supposed to be rated for up to 30 watts, but I've only ever seen it get into the mid to upper 20s, and even then, not for a really long time, so still not a great aspect of the device. 
So that's my experience. That's the experience of one person. To me, the battery life has been pretty much identical to, if not slightly better than, the battery life of the Galaxy Z Fold 4. Now, the Z Fold 4 does charge faster, but because I'm using things like these Pixel stands, which are just super conveniently placed around the house, I got the Gen 1 version off of Amazon for like $20. It's a fantastic deal. I just set it on these charging things if I'm here in the bedroom and it's there. It's looking at me. I can still use the phone and do things with it. It's fantastic. It's super, super convenient. So because of that, I'm not really experiencing that degraded charging speed because it's just so convenient to set it down. So again, the battery life has really been fine for me. It's actually been pretty good. I'm pretty happy with the battery life, but that's anecdotal. That is but one person. So let's turn our attention to this poll that I ran. People have had the Pixel Fold at least a week because it takes about a week for the battery's adaptive stuff to get to know you. What kind of battery life are you getting? Screen on time isn't the most accurate metric, as I said, but it's the best we have. And I put them into these brackets, two to four hours, four to six hours, six to eight hours or more. And you can see here, 19% of people are getting between two and four hours of screen on time. I would call that really, really bad. And if you are in that group, stay tuned towards the end of this video because I'm going to show you some quick things you can do to hopefully figure out what on earth is going on with your battery because that's pretty bad. 40%, nearly half of people are experiencing what I'm experiencing, four to six hours of screen on time. And I would call that for a foldable that is this thin, big, bright screens with high refresh rates. I'd call that pretty decent. But 13% are getting six to eight hours and 28% are getting more, more than six to eight hours of screen on time. So if we do quick math, that means 81%, 81% of people got four or more hours of screen on time. I would say that as close to objectively as we can get, 81% of people are probably getting battery life that they're somewhere between okay and quite happy with. So the rumors, the myths out there that the battery life is terrible, I think that we can pretty, you know, quantitatively say that it's just not the case. Is it the best battery life in the world? No, of course not. But for a foldable, 81% of people are, I think, in a pretty darn good place. So now let's turn our attention towards some simple things you can do to improve your battery life. And of course, we're gonna start off by going into our settings. The simplest thing you can do is to go into battery, battery usage, and then just look at this and see, is there anything in here that seems really, really strange? A couple of weeks back, Google Messages, the default text messaging app, it was actually on the Z Fold 4, was murdering my battery. I'd look in this and it would show background usage of hours at a time and it was using huge chunks of my battery. That would be a good indication that something has gone horribly wrong. And if that's the case, you can go into the app, either restrict it perhaps, do something with that. You can also force close it, maybe a reboot fixes it. You could also potentially jump into some deeper settings and clear the storage on that app and see if that makes it act a bit more reasonably. Now there's another place you can go to see some different things like this as well. Go all the way down to about, and then all the way down here where it says build number. Hit this a whole bunch of times until it pops up, you put in your pin, and now you are a developer. Now go into system, and look for developer options. Scroll down just a little ways here and look for running services. This is another great way to see what is happening on your phone right now. Look through this list and see if you see anything that's running that you just don't know why it's there. See, here's a good example for me of a way that I could improve my battery life. I'm not using Niagara Launcher right now, okay? I, I had it installed for a video. It is still running in the background. So that's something that right now, I'm just gonna tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm going to go to my home screen and I'm gonna uninstall Niagara Launcher because I'm not using it right now. I can always reinstall it later. Right now, it's just using up resources for no reason. Let's jump back into that screen here. So what else do we have? Pixel Launcher makes sense. Cinematic wallpaper, great. I'm using that night. I enjoy that. So we're gonna leave that alone. Pixel Watch, yep, Pixel Watch is on and operating, so we're going to leave that alone. KDE Connect, I just posted a video on that, I know what that is. So mine from here looks pretty good. I don't see anything that really stands out, and that doesn't surprise me because my battery is pretty good right now. In addition to the other things I already showed you throughout this video, there's a couple of other really simple things you can do, like going into display and making sure that your 
Screen timeout is set to something reasonable. I keep mine on 30 minutes because I'm weird, but maybe it's something you forget to turn it off. Well, set that to a lower time. How about set your dark theme to on? These are OLED screens, which means darker colors use less power. So if you're on light mode, maybe you think it looks really good. I think it looks good too, but if you wanna save some battery, dark mode might be the way to go. Jump into location and see what applications are using your location data. Who's checking for your location? How often are they doing it? If there's an app that's doing this and you don't think that they need to be doing it as often as they are, you can turn that off as well or address that from there. So hopefully now you guys know what to expect out of the Pixel Fold's battery and the charging and also some tips to potentially help improve that situation if things aren't quite good enough for you guys. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more content just like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.